Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. Look how beautiful it is today. It's all sunny and nice outside. And I was thinking I'm going to make one of the final videos for this game because we're soon done. We're going to make a shop, a way for you to uh, gain items from enemies. I'll do one video in the end for balancing as well as much as I can. And then I'll let you guys take care of the balancing if you want to play this game I mean it's just a very simple type of game more designed for learning than to actually play it but I'll, I'll leave that on you uh, but I'll, I'll do some balancing make sure it's it's pretty even and you can play the game for a longer time and we'll try to play it and uh, let's see uh, distance traveled we got that we got that going if I go into my character I just want to see if I'll put that down get a string Distance traveled. Okay, that's good. Uh, if I go into game, create new. We we fixed all of these. I think all the issues we had with this level up character was good. This is the main menu. That's fine. Initialize game. Now where I where I call where I call this. So I think it's just get a string. I think. Uh, which one is it? The the character sheet five. Uh, print stats, print stats. Okay, I just want to make sure print stats is what it's supposed to be. Okay, character sheet name. It doesn't say distance traveled, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, let me just take these and gold as well. Let me. That's gonna be your items right here. So I'm gonna do all the items down here. Let me just take one of these random ones. Just say gold. This gold. Uh, this uh, what is it? What is this? We'll have another function for printing the actual actual name. Distance traveled, and then distance traveled. We'll put that on top. This is all about the gold and the distance traveled. I'll do another one. This is for armors and weapons. Uh, weapon, let me see. If I open up weapon, do I have a get name? I don't have a get name. Item. Item, get name. I need to go into item. I do have a get name in here. So I'm just going to use this get name. And um, I'm going to just print out that in, in character. So, um, me, whoops, let me take this. Weapon, um, this gold, this weapon dot get name, get name. Then level, let me see, level is going to be this weapon dot get level, this weapon dot get level. Alright, we're going to do a few things here in order for this to work properly. Let me go into item again. Uh, I have get level. I just want to get the damage for it. Damage. I think it's in. If we open weapon.h, item.h, accessors modifiers there after the functions. So after the functions, accessors modifiers. Let's just uh, make an inline int damage min const get now return this damage minimum and we'll do the same thing for damage max max damage max bros and grills and there we go let's do the same thing for armor let's just go into our armor class Type and defense. 
So oh yeah, the type is the head, armor, chest, arms, legs. So it's gonna be dependent on that. Uh, it's gonna be dependent on that. Uh, what if we go into just armor, head, chest, arms, legs? That's all we need. So let's go into our armor.h. Oh, we have it open. Let's make something called an enumeration. Armor type. Uh, let's say head equals zero. Chest equals no chest is one then automatically arms and then legs. That's all we need. All right, that's our enumeration enum armor type. So what this means basically, armor type is the enumeration. Every, this little text thing here is gonna be exactly the same thing as a number. So this is gonna be one, two, and three, as because we started with zero here head is gonna be zero every time we type head somewhere like this armor type head this is gonna be the same thing as writing a zero it's just that it's easier for us to see what that's going on we can just write head as well and it will automatically assume it's this one um, but yeah if I wrote one here guess what would happen well this would be one same thing as one synonymous with one two three and four okay but we want to start at zero type zero and then anything above that is just gonna be bad. Wait, do I have to do that? What the hell? Okay, well you know what? We'll we'll do that. Uh yeah, so so that's good. Now we have armor types. Uh, let's just go in here, functions, accessors, make an inline function, get defense inline integer get defense const and we return our defense value our defense or defense or however you want to say it inline int get type const and we're going to use this later return this type so now we can get all our stuff we can get everything we're good uh, and cell value rarity all that's fine whatever all that's fine we'll, we'll create it with that and then this is just it's as long as it's none we're good and then gold level experience did I print everything out in character dot get string I have stamina defense accuracy luck I do stat points skill points I don't uh, I'll have to do that here. We'll remove skill points because we don't need skill points. Um, it's just too much of a hassle to do that. You can add it if you want. You can add different skills. You can press a button and they're going to do some stuff. You could do that if you wish. Um, I'm not going to do that. Let me just see where skill points. Let me remove that. Let me just remove this as well. Uh, is this get a string? Okay, let's get a string. How was that? Okay. Just like that. And that's good. So now our character save is going to be a little weird. But that's okay. Uh, skill points. Let's remove skill points. Let's remove skill points here as well. And let's remove skill points from this area right here. So, I think we cleaned skill points out. Um, there we go. And then character, remove that, initialize, remove initialize as well. Just like that. I have EXP to next level, I need stat points. Stat points. At points, and then what else do we have? Strength, vitality, intelligence. That's about it, isn't it? I think that's about it. I have, uh, I have weapon. Okay, weapon, armor, head, chest, arms, legs. So, how do I print this out? I get the level, 
uh, and then just the D haha -ha, I'm gonna do like this I'm gonna do like this now this is a hassle because it's such a big freaking string so I'm just gonna do the damage like this this weapon dot get damage min just do like that and then this weapon dot get damage max that's all I'm gonna do and I'm gonna put a function parentheses right there and we're good that's our damage so I'll get the name the level and the damage and I'll do the same thing for all the armors now this is tedious guys and girls I'm sorry about this you can skip forward now if you don't want to watch this but we'll be working with other things as well this is just a setup for for the next video Uh, where we will will fix the shop thingy fix the shop thingy you know what I'm saying this is gonna be good armor head uh, dot get level right dot get defense get defense that's it that's it level and this is defense def dam lvl lvl that's good now we can just copy paste this wait isn't there a end line here no, there isn't gonna be. There isn't gonna be an ally. Let's go armor. What is that? Chest. Armor. Armor. Chest. That's all we have to do. Armor. Arms. Armor. Arms. Let's just do this. See, we're soon done. It's no big deal. We're done soon. Just one more armor legs legs uh, it was right there oh armor legs thank god I hate this tedious work this is the only annoyance with RPGs like this uh, there we go and I just ran that I didn't mean to run it but okay I guess it saved it as well nope got some issues uh, get defense we're gonna have to put these everywhere Get defense, get defense, get defense. There we go. Uh, what else is wrong? Okay, we have to remove skill points. We have to remove skill points from here. And when we save it, yeah, it's going to be the same thing. Skill points, stat points, stat points. Okay, good. We remove those two. There is no more skill points. Remove that from your load character. And then we're going to have to remove any file that we have, characters.txt. I just have to remove that so we don't get any errors. Now, if we run the game, I want to make sure that it works. Okay. Search. And then level up available. Five. Let's see. Okay. So now we got new stuff. We have the name, stat point zero. Okay. Distance traveled zero, gold 100. Zero level zero damage zero zero level zero. Okay, so we have all our things showing. Um, if we just level up, uh, let's do strength. Let's go ahead and travel once. Two. Um, let's go ahead and travel once again. Okay, so let's attack the enemy. Let's attack number. Oh wow, there crazy tough zero I hit oh whoops what happened travel travel wait I have to see what the hell happened okay so I attack and oh wow okay that's weird now I got more enemies damage nine and I came back here oh that's not good that's not good that's not good. That's not good. We have to fix that, guys and girls. 
we have to fix that. Choice 0, player turn, coin toss, 2 plus 1. Mm. Okay, escape falls, player defeated, enemy defeated, 4. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to check this out. It's gonna be too much to check out in the one video. This is 15 minutes long already. So, but yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. I hope this helped you. I hope you found something in here. And I'll see you in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.